One rather unlikely way that we can subtly tweak the sound of our Helix preset. And it's a feature that a lot of folks may overlook and may not realize is there or may not understand how to use it is the guitar input impedance. Now, if we come on over to our first input block here, you'll see it says guitar in dash Z for us in Canada and Z for you folks in the United States. So what this is, is the input impedance that the guitar input is set at. Now on most audio interfaces and most high impedance inputs or instrument inputs, this impedance is going to be set at around one mega ohm, sometimes a little lower, sometimes a little higher, depending on the audio interface. But it seems to be pretty much an industry standard to have this set at one mega ohm. Now what that's going to do is not load down our guitar pickups and affect the sound of it. We're gonna get a very clear high end, more clarity to our sound. But Helix gives us this great ability to be able to adjust the guitar input impedance. Now they do have an auto setting. That's not going to be the topic of this video. The auto setting is more than likely going to still be set at one mega ohm, depending on the block that it's coming into. The blocks in the Helix have been modeled to behave like the original unit. So if we have an effects pedal that did have a lower input impedance, that's going to also be modeled into it. So so if we set it to auto, and there's also a global setting that allows us to have it set to the first block or the first engaged block. Again, not really the topic of this video, but the auto setting will adjust it appropriately for whatever that block is that we're using. But we're not talking about in this video. So we're gonna have this set at one mega ohm, which is kind of sort of the standard setting for it. So you'll notice here I have two snapshots. I have one that's at one mega ohm and then another where it switches down to the lowest setting of 10 kilo ohm. So so I want to be able to switch back and forth to this to let you hear what's going on. This is a single snapshot from my dual Dripman 45 preset. It's available at the link below at my website. I'll play you a little demo video on the way out of what that sounds like in the mix. But here is that tone with the guitar input impedance set to one mega ohm. Here's how that sounds. <laughs> my Gibson 335 on the bridge position. Now, I have two snapshots set up here. One that, when I switch to it, it drops it all the way down to the other extreme of 10 kilo ohms. If we take a quick look at what all the settings are, we have 10 kilo ohms, 22 kilo ohms, 32 kilo ohms, 70 kilo ohms, 90 kilo ohms, 136 kilo ohms, 230 kilo ohms, and one mega ohm. So, I just thought I would set these to very extreme situations. So we've heard the one mega ohm setting. Now watch as I switch between that as I play. You'll hear a drop off in the high end, but you'll also almost even hear less overdrive and distortion as the load changes on the pickups and causes the pickups to react different to that setting. Now, if we move through these, you'll hear that we can have more gradual settings as well.
So we can see it can be a very useful tone shaping tool. So if we've dialed in a preset that we really like, but maybe it's not 100% there, we've tried different tone shaping options, this can be an option that can do wonders if we realize it's there and if we realize what it does. So I hope that that helps you to maybe always have that in the back of your mind or maybe to go experiment with our guitar input impedance. And I hope that that helps you get some better tones out of your Helix. I'm gonna leave you today with the snippet from the demo video from my Dual Dripman 45 Ultimate preset. It it is available below at my website if you're so inclined and want to grab it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope that that was a helpful quick tip. Mm -hmm.